treatment of the frequency and wavelength okay so first i start our calcium power supply uh, the range of beam voltage is at set at 284 volt then the repeller voltage is around 67 70 so i set at 66 67 volt then i calculate what amount of current is observed so when it tune then current has increasingly automatically so the range of current for this test bench is around 17 milliampere okay. so when i set these are the amplitude and frequency signals so i set my power supply at for am modulation signal so the best basic signal for this uh, experiment we use amplitude modulated signal so the micro it has carrier signal and this is the amplitude signal that produce some amount of amplitude and with certain frequency so this is the isolator this is attenuator so performing our experiment we keep our attenuator in full open condition because there is no requirement for power attenuation in experimental purpose then we will calculate frequency using this frequency meter this is the direct rating frequency meter so when i rotating this frequency meter then I observe deflection in the VSW armature. The point where I got the deflection that is called the resonance frequency point. So at this point I get maximum deflection. So this is the resonance frequency. The resonance frequency means the fre uh, frequency of a waveguide or frequency of a device that produces maximum power in the output so at resonance frequency we get maximum power at the output so by noting this uh, this is the our frequency of resonance it is at around 10.95 gigahertz frequency so after note down this frequency i move frequency meter inside of it and then go for this slotted section for this slotted section we need to calculate the to maxima or our either to minima for the calculation of wavelength okay so i move this slotted in left side then i got maximum point at this point so i note down the distance from this for the near scale so uh, first reading for the, my maximum point is at 9.2 millimeter then i again continuously rotating then uh, signal is go for minima then again start for going maximum then go for minima so i again note second maxima point for second maxima it is around 11.2 so this difference of two readings d1 and d2 we use to calculate our wavelength of the signal that uh, given by 2 delta d equals to lambda so there is some mathematical calculations 